Hi guys, okay so in this video I'm going to share with you how I have recently started to hydrate my hair with this mist steam system. Um, it's from Kingdom Cares. Um, I found it on Amazon.com. It's called the Warm Mist Facial Ste Steamer, um, but it's actually both a facial steamer as well as the hair steamer because it comes with the hood um, and you can just kind of like transform it. Um, basically, I've used it for both so far, my face and my hair, and I really do enjoy it. Um, I am using a product on my hair this time. It's from Soft Sheen Carson, and it is a Hydra Steam Moisturizing System with Aloe Vera. Um, it's a steam mask. It's supposed to condition and nourish the hair, and I guess it's a part of the system itself. However, I just found this product at, I think, like TJ Maxx or Burlington, and it was only four bucks. So I picked it up, like, even before I bought my steamer because I knew I was going to get one. Um, but yeah, so I decided to use this. I don't think you need to use, like, a specific steam mask or something. I think you can use, like, a conditioner, a deep conditioner, or any type of hair mask. Um, I'm going to get some tea tree oil. And I'm gonna try steaming with that um, because I kind of like the idea of the menthol feeling. So this is just me just lathering the uh, steam mask all over my hair. And this stuff was getting everywhere. <laughs> it was getting everywhere, but um, I got it everywhere eventually all over all of my hair. And um, yeah, so this is just me adding it. going to pull my hair up into a ponytail because I want you know my ends of course to receive a lot of the steam because that's the oldest part of my hair um, so I'm gonna pull it all the way up I have left. I used a decent amount of the product so far, um, which wasn't bad. Okay, so the steamer itself comes with very specific instructions on how to set it up, um, but roughly you want it on a flat surface. You want to make sure there's no way you can tip over, you know, for your protection. It's really hot water. Um, yeah, and it actually says to use it, I believe, for once a week for um, about 20 minutes, and it is set up on a timer, so it's going to shut off after that 20 minutes. Um, yeah, so that's about how long I did steam it here. One of the things that I wish that I did bring was a facial towel because um, it started to like drip down my face and neck like the entire time. <laughs> the entire time I was sitting there, it kind of like kept running down. So I ended up using like my, um, my dress just to kind of like wipe here and there, um, which was fine because I wasn't like wearing this anywhere. I was just, you know, doing my hair. But it was a cool experience. I kind of sat there like I was in a salon, scrolling Instagram, talking and things. <laughs>
to mention also that um, it's not going to reach like your edges and your nape um, as well as it's going to reach the top of your head um, so I had to kind of keep turning my head every which way like around a little bit just to make sure that my edges were exposed to the steam as much as possible um, I have to be honest though it did not make it to the nape at all um, which I was a little bit disappointed with but overall still really happy with the product Okay, so that was the 20 minutes and after that all I did was wash out the product and then I uh, blow dried my hair. Um, I am about 10 weeks post here so my hair was really really thick and very difficult to uh, you know work with at the time. <laughs> Anyways but I do wish I had the because um, it seems like the Carson the soft chain Carson product they actually did have a hydro steam moisturizing uh, sealing spray to help seal the hair. Um, after the after the steaming, I wish I had that just to get like the full benefit of it. But honestly, I don't think it was necessary. I am happy with the results. My hair did feel stronger and more hydrated. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'll definitely be doing this regularly. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.